Hello friends and welcome again to another AFK journey video. In this video we'll be talking about King Kroger and what's the best teams as free to play and low spenders that didn't make high investments on other units to get at least to elite uh, or to common to as they say here. So uh, it's not that hard. If you're facing a little bit of struggling in survivability you can use Smokey plus Coco. She carried me until I got the levels so I can survive with my Smokey alone. And uh, this lineup, and as we know, as always, for King Croker, you need to have a Thorin. Now, my Thorin is not maxed. He's at, uh, I think, Legendary Plus, or at Legendary. Let me check. Where are you? He's at Legendary. So, we need two more copies to get him to uh, Mythic. And Mythic Plus is where you want him to be at, so he can unlock his link, and he will gain the HP, and he will buff your other unit, which is absolutely nice. Now, I'm using here... OD is dealing insane amount of damage, okay? You can use the magical one, which is this one. I think it's this or this amplifies the magic. I think it's this one, Stormcaller spell, which amplifies the damage uh, of the magical, which will make OD deal even more damage. But OD is dealing a lot of damage, even with the using it. We saw that we added a million to his damage, but all of our rest, the rest of our team did less damage. Now, if you're using here, uh, instead of Cecilia, if you're using Mythic, uh, Marily, she works fine if you're using Mythic uh, Mythic Plus Marily or Mythic Plus Corrin. My Corrin right now is at Mythic, so I got the copies for him. He's not at Come Mythic on. Plus. We're gonna try him. We're gonna test how good he is here. But he's not that recommended you because you're gonna lose enough. the buff of the 14% by 14% because you have one Graveborn, three Maulers, and one Light Bear, which will not help you a lot. Now, I'm still missing a little bit to max my... Uh, uh, or get uh, Mythic Plus on my, uh, or at least Mythic on my, uh, well I need 4 copies I think for Mythic Plus for Rainier, so he can work fine and we can use him and we can buff our main damage dealer. But so far at uh, Legendary Plus he's absolutely nice, he buffs me for 12% and uh, decreases the attack of the boss by 12%, but he's not working since I need him paired up with, the perfect pair for him is actually Marily because she changes position, she doesn't take the attacks from King Croker or any boss because she jumps around, so the front line will tank even more. So if I put Marily here, even at Mythic Plus, I think she will do even better uh, with him. So this is the lineup that we were using. Now before when I wasn't surviving a lot, I was removing this one and I was playing I think uh, Coco here and uh, then he dies, Coco takes the aggro, then she dies, then yada yada. But so far with uh, Kruger, now of course Kruger at choice. Mythic Plus he will gain the shields, which is absolutely insane for him. Plus his seasonal buff will allow him to survive even more. With the seasonal buff, Odi became the monster of a DPS, so he's your main DPS. Cecilia, because Kruger does the physical damage, plus we're using the Quickblade uh, 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 spell. Quickblade spell will allow you to deal more, uh, uh, to take less physical defense and magical defense from the boss. It means his ball will not hit you and hit, or will not affect you that much. And uh, when he spits that big ball of whatever it is, snot or snow. And when he auto attacks, he doesn't deal that much damage. Plus, you will deal even physical more damage. So the more physical damage that you deal, it's good for your physical units. And uh, I can try somebody else like Vala. I tried Vala. She doesn't work that much uh, that good because uh, we lose on the synergy. Again, the plus 14% uh, is really important here. Now, if you had, uh, if you're spending a little bit more, if you spend a lot, and this is not recommended for free to play, I will make a whole video about it. And you made Alsa to Supreme Plus. She will be absolutely crazy here, and she will help you. She, you will drop Cecilia, and you will play Alsa. Alsa will deal a lot of damage because she's uh, physical damage plus. Uh, I think I think her boulders are magical. But her attacks are physical and she ramps up her attack more and more every time she casts her ultimate. Which is really good actually, will allow you to deal even more damage without her. But if you don't want to play that or if you're free to play, I would highly recommend not summoning for Elsa. She's a high cost investment unit. Go with the unit you have, you already built as free to play, we all built uh, our uh, Cecilia. Now, if you have Cecilia and uh, uh, Thorin Mythic Plus, you can play Cecilia behind him and this will get you even more higher scores so you can play Odi here and everybody will get healed. Now I'm playing Odi in this position and Cecilia in this position because now the ball will hit our Smokey and Cecilia and Odi will be safe so he will deal the most amount of damage for us back then and I will not put him in the risk of danger of taking the ball into his face so he would die. 
and a cougar will put the debuffs so cc will deal more damage and mr Kala will deal more damage and now let's go and check the fight so there is the fight now i tried this i tried with coco with coco before uh, i wanted the buffs from her so i was like playing the enlightening spell and i was playing her instead of cecia's place in her in cecia's position so she will be quicker so she gives us uh, the buffs and uh, we would survive more as you see kruger is taking damage but he's surviving because of his uh uh, skill of lifesteal and he's tanky a little bit now uh, because we are at uh, level I think 85 on every hero that we have and some heroes at 90 uh, I think Odie and Cecilia at 90 and we're breaking 30 million which is 30 uh, percent 30 percent is absolutely nice for us for we get that milestone now of course with more levels you're gonna get and hit more the boss and you're gonna uh, go beyond this uh, score if you have uh, Merli, if you have Corin, the setup, the usual setup that deals the most damage. But in this patch, uh, uh, Odi has been buffed to the seasonal buff, plus everything that is related to physical damage is also buffed, which allows you to deal even more damage with physical damage, and Cecilia will shine even more, so she's uh, uh, being used a lot here. And did we break? We didn't break our record, but this is a decent record, almost 240 million. And that's where uh, we're ranking right now at the top 200, uh, 100, which is really good actually. And if you built your units more, uh, again, if you have Thorin built up more, you will deal even more damage. It will affect your score. It will be more helpful. And of course, Kruger, the more investment in him, the more damage that he will do. If you're going to check the uh, scores or here, even Smokey with his magical damage is not dealing as physical damage as our Kruger. Kruger is really good amount of physical damage because of the buff, uh, the debuff he applies on the boss, will, which benefit himself because he's a physical damage user. Plus, Sia is almost dealing the same damages as our Odi, the main uh, damage dealer here, because she's dealing physical damage with her and uh, Mr. Karlal, which is absolutely nice. Now, if you got her to Supreme Plus, that would be amazing, you can buy it from the shop, but you need to wait until it refreshes. For me, it's next month, so now I'm gonna buy a different unit until I get her to Supreme Plus. I'm working on Supreme Pluses as much as possible so I can progress in the Labyrinth. You need that, you need to progress in the Labyrinth, so you need to go and invest in some units to get them to Supreme Plus. As you see, we survived from uh, King Kroger, all of his attacks, nobody died. Of course, Kro uh, uh, Kroger and Thorin will die because of his spell that it's one-shotting units taking their souls which is absolutely okay with our lineup and this is perfect for our run and as you see smoky heals and sustains us really good and the lifesteal from everybody else and the healing from their own passives are good uh, except Odi, of course he doesn't heal and this is absolutely gonna put you in the top 200 100 with this lineup you're gonna get to the top 100 uh, to the top 200 to the top 100 you need more investments in your units if you were luckier if you did some summons I blew up all my summons on the regular banner right now and I got my Corrin to Mythic and hopefully and got a little bit uh, copies of Mary Lee. So hopefully in the future I'm gonna get more copies as you see. He's there, now he needs 12 copies. I got a little bit of Kruger, so I need two copies for him to get him to Mythic. Which I think I could do right now if I wanna do uh, go and do it. And Mary Lee needs, uh, needs 7 more copies. So I'm, I'm trying to make the priority as much as possible Corin and Mary Lee because they're good in bossing and they're used in many other type of bosses that would help you necro dragon the honey bear the uh, any uh, any kind of uh, primal lord so keep that in mind you want to prioritize these units Kruger is insane he's will be always the main units that will be always used in this season specifically so far until they release other units are OD first Second, Kruger. Third, Corin. Then, Marily. Why Corin? Corin is a technical usage for survivability and AoE damage, which will help you a lot. Plus, he jumps from place to place. He has a lot of functions that makes him a wonderful all-in-all -all unit. As for damages, the top damages, first Odi, then Marily. And for other technical uses is uh, Kruger. These are the most essential units. And the fifth essential unit, which I will talk about, which will shock you, it's Cecilia. Yeah, Cecilia got a major buff this season as well. Gained 16 crit and 13 haste when there are no enemies within two uh, tile radius for the uh, last for three seconds. This effect ends one second after an enemy approaches. So this will be very, very helpful for her. And of course, the more that you get her on levels, so unlock at 101, 151, she gains more haste, more crit. 
So she crits a lot and depending on your RNG on bosses, when you use her on bossing, she will crit more and you will get more scores. So this is what why the buffs are going there. And the most thing that Odie benefits from is the, uh, this uh, passive. Fires an extra projectile for every three normal attacks that hit the target dealing 140% of the target damage. Now why? So Marily has the same thing. She, was, she got the same seasonal buff as well. Just perfect. Just like them. What's the difference between him and Marily? Marily will gain more attacks, more energy, and then she will initiate her true damage. Perfect. But with Odi, he will get more poison stacks, which is absolutely nice. Plus, there's a little bit of nerf on Marily or on true damage overall. Still, Corrin is good because of the functionality that he does, not only the damage that he, uh, the damage output that comes from him. So this is why I would say, if you're investing in someone and you want to get them to that supreme plus level. I would say as free to play not I'm talking I'm not talking about spending if you're completely free to play or very low spender that bought like a couple of bundles OD and oh. Cecilia are the ones that I would go to Supreme Plus for the season I'm not talking for the entire game in general for the season they will help you a lot they will push you a lot and they will be your main uh, carries for bossing now as for story I would still recommend going for uh, Carolina I just got one copy of her randomly by summoning and I got Temesea as well it was a successful summon singles got me Temesea and multis got me uh, uh, Carolina I wish I recorded that but that's okay I will record the next summoning session when we go and accumulate some more summons and Aaron of course build up Aaron and then you can go and uh, build up slowly because Okay, this is why my logic is talking about that. Slowly you can build Arden. This is why I didn't invest in Arden. There's too much units that I need to build as free to play, which I can't do it. So I need to focus on other A ranks. So Marily, Corin, uh, Kruger, Odi, Coco, blah blah blah. You know, these units are impossible for us like uh, to go and uh, get them immediately. Unless we sacrifice them on the banner and we put them instead of S ranks, which I will not advise for anybody. Build your account slowly, you'll get there. Anyway, it will not affect your progress in, in a major form. You can build them. I still have a lot of, if you want to go and check. Here, I still have a lot of uh, uh, currency so I can build somebody else. So keep that in mind. The most thing that you need to focus on is building the perfect essential units. Why I'm saying Arden is the last one that you want to build for PvP content. Because you need to build, first of all, a, a Mythic Plus Carolina, the Mythic Plus Aaron. Then you want to go and do a Mythic Plus, where is him? Uh, Thorin. And then you're going to drop, uh, or without Thorin, you can play without Thorin. You can play somebody else if you build somebody else. But these units are important for all of the progress for your account. So building them first, and then building Marily, building Odi, building Corrin, building Kruger. This is overwhelming. So you want to add Arden also to the list. I mean, he could be built, but I'm talking about shop. You want to go and invest in him in the shop instead of Odie or Marilee or Corrin or Kruger. It seems like I'm focusing on PvP, which will not land me or get me the most rewards from the dream shop. This is why I delay him, because we have a replacement for him right now. Which is Cecilia, as free to play, you're gonna build her, you're gonna get her there, there, at Mythic Plus, she starts the battle, hits somebody and entangle them, that's a control, that will benefit Carolina, and when I built Carolina with Cecilia and uh, 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 Thorin and Odie in PvP, I'm doing fine, I just want to max out Aaron or get him to Mythic Plus, and that would be absolutely nice. This is my advice to you, take it or leave it, for King Kroger, this is the lineup that I used, again, it's absolutely nice, you can play whatever lineups and synergies that you need. Uh, and with RNG, you can get more crits on your Cecilia, you can get more crits on your Odi, even Kruger can crit and get you more damages. And uh, Smokey is sustaining, plus he deals a decent amount of damage if you got him to Mythic Plus. So this is overall how it goes. And yeah, that was it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, I thank you for watching. And as always, stay frosty. Peace.